guys? Um, for your kitchen chemistry project that you're going to be doing, I'm going to do an example. So the example that I'm going to do is my absolute favorite breakfast of all time, the steak and eggs. So a couple things when uh, we're talking about making a steak, and this is the absolute perfect way to make a steak. Um, make sure that you take out your steak about 20 minutes before you go. <laughs> so a couple things when you're making a steak. First, make sure that you take it out about um, 20 minutes to an hour before you're going to cook it. If you don't, it's going to be really cold on the inside, and you'll have to burn the outside in order to cook it all the way. Uh, I'm going to make about two pieces. So first, take that off. Um, I'm going to get some salt, a little bit of oil. Not too much. Put that on there nice. Good amount of salt. Heavy on the pepper when you're making steak. Um, steaks really like pepper and that way you get a nice uh, crust on the outside of it. So, oil in. And let's get this thing going. So when you lay the steaks, always away from you. And that's exactly what you want to hear when you cook the steak. Nice hard sizzle. Right? And we can get that sort of uh, caramelization going. No more than about a minute on each side. Right? Now, these steaks are pretty thin. So um, you want to make sure that it cooks evenly. So flip it about every minute. These to get to medium rare, which is how I want it. Um, you probably won't need any more than about a minute and a half on each side. It'll be an absolute beautiful sear on one side. Look at that beautiful color there. Nice and seared. Get some garlic. You don't even need to peel it; just crush it lightly. There we go. Got a little bit of fresh rosemary. It smells like Christmas. I love this stuff. Okay. That'll give it some nice little flavor. Okay, good. Get some nice aromatics going. Alright, so that's about another minute. We're going to flip it over one more time. About 30 seconds left on each side. Get a nice little knob of butter. Oh, that's catching fire. I'm going to point it this way and start basting it with all the butter. Okay. Make sure that all that flavor gets nice and in there. Okay. The garlic and all that other good stuff. Some of these aromatics. Now the way to tell this is done is to take a look. You're going to touch your fingers. If you touch your thumb and your pointer finger, and you touch right there, that's about rare. That's about medium rare. That's medium, and that is well done. Give it a little touch. That's a nice little rare to medium rare. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. Cut it at an angle, and if I cook this right, you should see beautiful. Look at that, nice and pink, nice and medium rare. That's fantastic. That's exactly what I want. If you cut it at an angle, it'll be um, it'll be nice and tender. It won't be too chewy when you eat it. Get that. Put that right over the top. Steak and eggs with a little bit of rice. Nice and juicy, nice and medium rare. Let's see what it tastes. Oh, that's so good. So fantastic. I love breakfast. Mm. I may not even need coffee. Now, let's be honest, I'm still going to need coffee. But, steak and eggs, hopefully you have fun making your kitchen chemistry project. See you in class.